Wish I was back home To the roads I roam Kicking back with my friends Out running again But Lord, I just can't see Why I ever did leave I need to hit the road And take myself Mac and it's time. It is 5:02 in the a.m. on October 1st, 2011, and Oklahoma archery season begins today. So I'm ready, waiting on Chuck to get here. We're gonna get out, get set up early, and be waiting on them deer first thing this morning. We're gonna be hunting over there where we've been feeding. I took the feeder out the other day, and. Uh, Check the camera. We had 250 picks or something like that, and we've had a couple new more, a couple new bucks. Still small ones, but uh, one of them has a giant goiter on his chest or something. But I'll tell you what, I'm excited. I'm ready to go, and we got a lot of deer using that feed over there. So hopefully we're gonna have a good morning. We're gonna make sure the wind's right here in just a second, and gonna get after it. Uh, Sportsmen all over the world getting after it today, and uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, finally starting to heal up a little bit from this funk I've had, whatever it was, some kind of upper respiratory infection or something, and I ain't coughing near as much as I was, so that's good. I can breathe a lot better. I'm going to get out there, and I'm going to give up my open morning probably to film Chuck. Just because, you know, he has yet to shoot a deer with a bow and I want to see him succeed. So, that's the plan. We came in there and I had a tree picked out to climb. I get over there, it's too big. So then I'm scrambling around trying to find another tree close enough that I can still film. And it just didn't happen. So I just planted my butt right there in between those two great big old white oaks. But then the wind, which was iffy at best, you know, it was... It ended up switching around and blowing straight out of the east, which is where we figured the deer was going to come from. So we ended up just getting out of there about oh, about 9 o'clock, which is really early for me and Chuck. And uh, that evening, I was just sitting there, nothing going on. While Chuck, he had his own thing going over there. You need to go check out his video, and you'll see. Day number two, I seen four of those off the ground because I tried to climb a tree, dropped my bow, went down to get my bow, went back up, dropped my arrows and I didn't I don't want to get started on that day. But day number three Someone was smiling upon me. I just had a couple little bucks come in. One of them was a real crooked horn spike. I took a shot at him. I don't know what happened. I think I hit him. But I'm going to give it some time. And go see. It might have been a little far back. I didn't have time to get the camera on him. They were just right there. I don't know. He kind of buckled up like I hit him and then took off. But if I hit him, I think it was too far back because he moved before the arrow got there. Well, I got down and looked. Found some good blood. So I'm going to get all my stuff packed up and get down. And, uh, I can't hunt very long today anyway. I gotta be out here by 9 o'clock or 9.30. And so I got a blood trail. Blood, blood looks good, so I'm gonna get after it. I 
I thought he was a spike. He's a three point. Still got velvet on his horn for some reason. Uh, he's been injured. Looks like he's been shot in the back leg. There's a hole right there. Looks like somebody might have 22 would him or something. But uh, I tell you what, this is a long time coming for me. I didn't shoot one with the bow last year, and I was determined this year I was going to get me one on the ground first thing. I didn't care. Uh, I trophy hunted like crazy last year and didn't end up with nothing. Uh, this year, I drew out from McAllister, has an extra buck tag, so I pretty much have three buck tags. I have to put one of them on a deer in McAllister though, but I was going to put something down, I didn't care. And my kids are going to be thrilled, because they want some jerky. <laughs> Shot wasn't what I wanted, and there was a healthy blood trail, and I tell you, I know exactly what happened. I clipped that main artery that runs along that spine going in because I tell you what he's turned he turned a lot more than I thought he did and uh, but I also shot a lot farther than I thought I did too when you're shooting instinctive your brain just kinda tells you what you gotta do if you've been doing it long enough and I didn't know he was that far but I was pretty confident I could hit him and make a good shot well I turned out I got a little lucky on the shot but he's here he's down I'm happy I just, uh, I can't wait to get this thing home and show the kids. They have been screaming for deer jerky. Got my recurve here I'm buying off of Ike. Got it tested out. And, uh, hey, the old stick and string, and I'm talking stick and string, is all you need. And a good, sharp broadhead. I'm pretty impressed with the Red Feather Archery's Razor Hawk. I shot me a buck the other day. He wasn't a big buck. Of course, I've been getting teased a little bit by somebody. But I tell you what, I got a big hunt coming up here in a couple weeks. I'm going to McAllister. It's longbow and recurve only. And after last year, after all the misses I done last year, I was getting kind of discouraged. And uh, th this deer hunt's a mental game. So making that shot the other day, getting that deer on the ground. I tell you what, that has up my confidence 500% in my bow, in my broadhead, in my entire setup. That buck might have been small, but what he gave me was priceless. Confidence is key when you're out in the woods. I suggest you uh, take advantage of that tip and uh, get out there, get one on the ground, get your confidence up, and it'll pay big dividends in November when the big boys rumble. And plus now, I got meat in the freezer. A couple more does, I'll be set to go. And I can really concentrate on them big boys.